Hey there Pisces, this is Renee, welcome back. This is going to be your March 2023 reading. This is for March 1st through the 15th. Let's get some of your energy and dive right in, okay? Pisces, what's going on with Pisces March 1st through the 15th? Okay, we have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay, and we have gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So there's something that may be coming to an end, something that um, may be working out for your best benefit. So, because I feel like you may be losing some kind of opportunity, but I feel like you're still grateful for the challenge, for the... Uh, the lesson in it because you have abundance at the bottom. So I am a limitless being. I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So that's beautiful energy. Um, so, so, you know, it's not all lost here, Pisces. Some, some kind of opportunity you may have missed and you were very disappointed about, but something better is coming right behind it. So it's very interesting. Let's get some more energy for Pisces. What did I say? Opportunity and change. So I feel like because one opportunity just didn't go the way that you thought it would, I feel like there's another opportunity right behind it. And I feel like this is the opportunity that's going to change your outcome. Okay? Um... We also have take charge and action. So this is something that you want to be assertive, you know, take initiative. Because I feel like, you know, when one opportunity doesn't work, trying another opportunity that may bring you more focus, okay? But something is coming through, one opportunity isn't working, another opportunity brings you a lot of abundance. Okay, the end of a, a tough cycle approaches, so I feel like you may have really been in doubt about something that you were losing, some kind of opportunity that may not have fit in your current situation. Okay, and I'm saying that it doesn't fit because it didn't quite add up to what you expected. But there is another opportunity in the background that is going to fit your mold. Confidence is the key to your success. Okay, Pisces, so have confidence in your, in your um, abilities and your capabilities because you are able you are good enough to go through whatever this is okay and i feel like the answers are coming forward for you the answers are becoming more clear there's some kind of opportunity that's coming in that's going to bring a lot of change in your life it's going to end some sort of cycle that you may have been struggling Okay, let's get some tarot for Pisces. Message for Pisces, please. March 1st through the 15th, 2023. Message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, you have the Ace of Wands. Some kind of creative venture that you're going through. Some kind of creative action. Some, some kind of purpose-driven idea is coming forward we also have the four of pentacles so this could be some kind of idea some kind of inspiration that you're protecting but i feel like you find it very valuable this may be the opportunity that you've been looking for um now this could be in your career this could be in love um uh, and life in general okay because this is a general reading so take it how it resonates but there's some kind of idea that you find very valuable some kind of action that you're taking and you are building this with confidence okay you are putting in a lot of effort a lot of time 
Um, you may be sacrificing a lot of time to build this up the way you want it to be. Um, but I feel like you're working very hard on this. This is something that you are like making a baby out of, you know, um, you're nurturing it. You're, you're trying to create it just right. Okay. And I feel like, you know, there's decisions that you're making. You may be at some kind of crossroads or need to compromise. Um, but I'm really getting with this that, that you are at a crossroads and you have a path to choose. Which opportunity are you going to choose? You know, I feel like with this Three of Wands energy, I feel like you're growing into this. This is something growing, something building something gaining momentum okay very interesting and we have the nine of swords hmm So I feel like with this nine of swords, you know, you're, you're building this idea, this opportunity, but you're not quite sure if it's going to go anywhere. Uh, you have your doubts, whether it is a good opportunity or not, whether it's something that is just frivolous and just may, you know, be a waste of time. But I feel like with this emperor energy, I feel like you have the need to still take action. You know, see where this road leads you to see where this is going. You know, th this may be a love situation that you're dealing with because I feel like, you know, you you may see some kind of potential in someone, but you you're not quite sure where their where their true intentions lie. But you're willing to kind of take a chance. You know, take action anyway. Um, hmm. No, oh, whatever you're creating, you're bringing it down to earth. You're manifesting this. This is something that you're creating. And I feel like you have everything you need in order to bring this about. You have all the desire. All the ability. All the knowledge. All the passion. To... Start creating this opportunity or new idea. Hmm. Let's see. Let's get some more cards. Let's see. Give me more of a message for Pisces. What can Pisces expect from this situation? What can Pisces expect? Okay, the Five of Swords. So, this is going to have some challenges. This is going to have some challenges in your situation. Um, and I do feel like it's going to take work. It's going to take a lot of effort to kind of make this situation work. But I feel like you're up for the challenge with this Five of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're kind of up for the challenge. And you're going to gain the knowledge on the situation kind of as you go. You're kind of, I, I feel like with this Ace of Swords energy, I feel like you are learning as you go on the situation. Hmm. Okay. The Empress. Wow. Yeah, you're definitely creating. I feel like what this is that you're creating is worth all of your effort. This may bring abundance. 
we have the king of wands whatever this is i feel like with this empress energy and this king of wands energy this this may be some kind of love interest you may be building something as far as love as far as some kind of opportunity in love because the empress she's very beautiful very giving very attractive the king of wands he's very attractive as well but he's also bold and assertive he also takes action and i feel like this king of swords energy you could be a woman or a man but i feel like this king of this king of wands energy is you you're taking action on the situation you're like ready to like start creating this new adventure with this empress energy and we have the eight of swords in reverse so i feel like if this is love you're letting down your guard you're like slowly but surely releasing your boundaries Hmm. Spirit, give me a message. What is this challenge? What is the challenge that Pisces is going to face in this situation? What is the advice to this challenge? Message, please, for Pisces, March 1st of the 15th. Okay. okay, we have the Ten of Cups and the Six of Swords. So I feel like whatever struggles that you'll be going through, I feel like this is going to bring you into this new space, this new awareness. Um, I feel like it's taking you to a happy place. She's moving forward without any baggage, but she's taking along these swords. These swords represent the lessons that she's learned. Um, but I feel like what, whatever this opportunity and change is, I feel like you are ready to go on this you're ready to pursue your happiness whatever this opportunity is we have the emperor so i feel like you kind of feel like you're in total control of the situation you're in total control of your emotions of the way you feel like this situation is going to go i feel like you're kind of motivated to take it into that direction you kind of have a idea of where this is going of where this is going to end up and i feel like you are kind of I don't really want to say manipulating it into action, but I feel like you are controlling the outcome is what I'm getting. But this is some kind of new journey that you're going on. This is a new beginning. This is some inspired action that needs to be taken. But I feel like you know, this is very innocent and pure, is what I'm getting. Very interesting. We have the Page of Cups energy. So I feel like there's going to be some kind of offer. Some kind of new beginning someone is offering. Maybe this opportunity for a new beginning, for a new um, passion.
Hmm. Let's get some angel cards. Let's see what the angels want to say. But I do feel like this is some sort of new passion, new beginning that you are on the verge of discovering. Some kind of new op opportunity is bringing you a lot of happiness, moving you into a place of more calmness and control. Okay. Um, hmm. Tell me more about this reading, Spirit. Okay, we have Life Force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increasing. Wow. Okay, so if this is love, this is deep. This, <laughs> this, that's why there's so many wands here. There's, there's passion. There's desire. There's like excitement. Okay, creating this. Okay, we also have Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Beautiful energy. At the bottom, um, Pisces, we have Experiencing Grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming towards you. So definitely, if this is a love that's coming forward for you, I feel like it is a strong, passionate new beginning that's starting for you in March. After maybe something has ended, after something was released, something was done and over with, okay? Um, <laughs> but I feel like this is definitely some kind of passion that is going to leave you very excited with this card, the life force, sensual and sexual powers are increased. Okay. Okay, hey, uh, Pisces, new moon in Libra. Know you are loved. So someone loves you. Someone is, spirit is letting you know that you are loved. You are protected. You are, you know, being guided along this journey. Okay, these are opportunities that are set before you for you to um, be assertive towards. Okay, first quarter moon in Scorpio, release your blocks. And I feel like you're doing that with this uh, eight of swords in reverse. I feel like you, you are kind of letting down your boundaries. You're kind of going more with the flow. You're, you're able to really not just see what the future may, be, may bring, but I feel like you can also feel what intensity the future future has in store for you okay and we also have last quarter moon in cancer take a breather so you know at times when you feel a little overwhelmed you know you may need to step back and go back into your own space take some alone time you know take some time out for yourself you know really take care of yourself at this time pisces if you feel kind of at that point to where you know something may be a little bit overwhelming you know just take a step back take a breath meditate kind of you know reevaluate how you're feeling or what's going on because i feel like this is very beautiful energy i feel like this is bringing you a lot of happiness a lot of passion you know this is something that is very um fiery Okay, so Pisces, this is what I have for you. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I should have 
all of them up by the middle of the week, I believe. And um, until your next reading, Pisces, many blessings to you, love and light.